Okay, so we're going to talk about oxidation reduction reactions. Um, this is not a separate type of reactions, it's more of an, a classification of a lot of different kinds of reactions, um, just based on their properties and on what's actually going on. Uh, the basic idea that you need to remember here is the definition. So, uh, oxidation occurs when something loses electrons. Um, it becomes more positive because electrons are negative, so it becomes more positive. Uh, its oxidation state will increase, it will become more positive. The thing that is oxidized is also called the reducing agent because it causes the reduction. Now, something is reduced when it gains electrons. If it gains electrons, then they being negatively charged, it will become more negative. In other words, its oxidation state will decrease, it will become more negative and it is called the oxidizing agent because it causes the other thing to be oxidized. So if oxidation is losing electrons, those electrons have to go someplace. Where do they go? They go to the thing that is going to gain them that is going to be reduced because when you gain electrons you're reduced. The thing that ends up losing electrons gives them to the other substance that's the, that's the reducing agent. It's causing the other substance to be reduced to gain those electrons. The thing that gains the electrons takes them from the other substance and causes the oxidation of that other substance, and so it's the oxidizing agent. So there's a, it's a relationship. It's really just electron transfer. M, in this case a metal, gives up an electron or two to X, which is any nonmetal, for example. Uh, so M becomes more positive when it gives up its electron. X becomes more negative. M's oxidation number increases, its oxidation state increases, X's decreases. M causes X's uh, reduction, so it's the reducing agent, and X causes M to be oxidized, so it's the oxidizing agent. It sounds complex, it's really not once you get used to it. So what do we mean by oxidation state? Well, that's a real or apparent charge on an atom in an ion or molecule. Um, there are some rules for assigning oxidation states. Some you just have to know, and then others you can determine algebraically. So any uh, atom in an element molecule or ion that already has a charge, you can just use that. So for example, um, monatomic ions, cations, alkali metals, the alkali metals, sodium, lithium, potassium, etc. Those all, when they're in a compound, those are always plus one, because they're plus one ions. Um, alkaline earth metals right next door, ber uh, beryllium and uh, calcium and magnesium, those are plus two. That's their oxidation state is plus two. It's equal to their charge. Okay. Other metals, what you know about other metals. So if it's copper, for example, it'd be plus one or plus two, depending on what co compound it's in. Uh, other monatomic ions you can predict from looking at where they are in the periodic table. Halides, group 17 or 7A, uh, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Those are usually going to be minus one when they're monatomic ions, when they're an ion by itself. Uh, chloride or fluoride or bromide or iodide, those ions are minus one. Anything in the oxygen family when it's an, a monatomic ion will be minus two. Not part of a polyatomic ion or part of a molecule, but part of a, but an ion by itself. And then hydrogen, hydrogen's a tricky one. Hydrogen is almost always plus one. Its oxidation state is almost always plus one, unless it's with a metal. If it's with a metal, then it's minus one. It's something called a hydride. Okay, The rest of anything that wasn't on that list, the rest of those oxidation states you can uh, calculate from the algebraic sum of known states. So you, you, you figure out the ones you know and then the sum of all the oxidation states in a molecule has to equal the charge on the molecule or ion. And so algebraically you can determine the rest of them. So um, here's Table 4.2, and it just gives you some basic ones. You should know these. Uh, an atom in an element is zero. So any atom that's just part of a free element, the oxidation state is zero. Uh, monatomic ion is the same as the charge. Fluorine is always minus one when it's in a compound. Any compound, it's always minus one. Oxygen is almost always minus two, except if it's a peroxide, in which case it's minus one. And hydrogen is always plus one unless it's with a metal, in which case it's minus one. So if we remember those, and we remember that the sum of all the oxidation states in a molecular ion has to equal the charge on the ion, then go ahead and stop the video and see if you can figure out 
the oxidation numbers of all the elements in each of these species. Go ahead. Okay, you have them done? So let's see what you got. NO3, the nitrate ion. You should have ended up with N with plus 5 oxidation state and O with minus 2. So how did we get that? Well, oxygen is always minus 2, unless it's a peroxide. That's not a peroxide. There are three of those, so that's minus 6. So the minus 6 from the three oxygens and whatever nitrogen is, together when I add them, have to equal minus 1. Well, that means that nitrogen has to be plus 5, because if you add plus 5 and minus 6, you get minus 1. How about NH4 plus, the ammonium ion? Well, did you get uh, nitrogen with minus 3 and H with plus 1? H is almost always plus 1. There are four of them. That's a total of plus 4. So plus 4 from the hydrogen plus whatever nitrogen is has to equal plus 1. The nitrogen has to be minus 3. How about this one, K2Cr207, potassium dichromate? We've got three elements there. Now the potassium is plus 1 because it's always plus 1 when it's in a compound. The chromium is plus 6 and the oxygen is minus 2. Again, oxygen is always must, minus 2. Algebraically, if we add up all the oxygens, 7 of them, that's minus 14. Two pluses from the Ks, so it's minus 12. The chromiums together, two chromiums have to equal plus 12, which means each one has to be plus 6. Go back and watch that again if that's still a little confusing. But that's how it's done.